A viewer asked me why fluorine is the most electronegative element here on the periodic table. So let's take a quick look at that. So here is fluorine right here. As we go across a period, electronegativity increases. And as we go up a group, it increases. So fluorine is the most electronegative element on the periodic table. And here's why. Fluorine is a fairly small element. As we go down the group, they get larger because we're adding energy levels each time we go down one on the periodic table here. So fluorine's pretty small. That means these valence electrons here, they're pulled towards that positive nucleus because they're closer. So if we think about a molecule like HF, for example, when we're talking about electronegativity, we're saying the more electronegative element, in this case fluorine, it's going to pull these shared electrons. This is a covalent bond. It's going to pull them closer to the fluorine because it's more electronegative. So the more electronegative element, those electrons, those shared electrons, they spend more time with the more electronegative element. So part of the reason is fluorine, it's pretty small. That positive charge can pull those shared electrons towards it. But hydrogen in this case, it's pretty small too. And so there's one other factor we need to consider. On the periodic table, the atomic number of hydrogen is one. Helium's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the atomic number for fluorine is nine. That means it has nine protons in its nucleus. Hydrogen only has one. We call this the effective nuclear charge because there's more positive charge here in the nucleus that pulls valence electrons closer to the fluorine atom. And again, in this case, since it's electronegativity, we're talking about the shared electrons in that covalent bond. So because fluorine has a higher effective nuclear charge, that's what we say, this side of the molecule here around the fluorine is going to be more negative, more positive over here. So we have a polar molecule. So to sum up, fluorine, it's more electronegative because it's small and it has a higher effective nuclear charge than these other small elements here. As we go down, the effective nuclear charge increases. There's more protons, but we're also getting larger and larger atoms because we keep adding energy levels. So that's it. Fluorine is the most electronegative because of its small size and its effective nuclear charge is larger than these other smaller elements here. If you need more help understanding electronegativity or polarity, jump to these next videos here. It's Dr. B, and thanks for watching.